Hello everyone, and welcome to DevWave Diaries. Here, we dive into the latest web development trends and coding techniques. If you're passionate about tech and eager to learn, you're in the right place. Today I am going to show you how to create an eye-catching, rotating can animation using CSS. First let's create a div element with the class name, container. This will act as the main wrapper for our layout. Inside this container div, add another div with the class name, cane. This will be a secondary container within the main wrapper. Next, within the cane div, place yet another div with the class name, pack. This nested div will hold additional content or styling. For the styling, apply inline CSS directly to the pack div. We want to set a background image, so we use the style attribute and specify the background property. We define a custom CSS variable named bg and set its value to URL with the location of the image file. This ensures that the background of the pack div displays the specified image. To obtain all the images used in this project, you can visit the GitHub link provided in the description of this video. There, you'll find all the image files you need. Next, let's move on to the CSS. First, we need to add a CSS boilerplate to set some basic styles. We'll start by applying margin, zero, padding, zero, and box sizing, border box. These settings will ensure that all elements on the page have no extra margin or padding and that the width and height calculations include padding and borders. Then, we style the HTML and body elements to cover the full viewport. Set both the width and height to 100% and give the background a color of hashtag 6767F0, which is a shade of blue. Now, let's style the container div element. Set its width to 100% to make it span the entire width of its parent. For the height, use 100 dvh, which stands for 100 dynamic viewport height units. Set overflow to hidden to prevent any content from spilling outside the container's boundaries. Finally, use position, relative to establish a positioning context for any child elements that may be positioned absolutely within this container. Next, let's style the cane div element. Set its position to absolute to position it relative to its closest positioned ancestor. Use top, 50% and left, 50% to position the top left corner of the cane div at the center of its containing element. To ensure the cane div is centered correctly, apply a transform property with translate, minus 50%, minus 50%. This adjustment shifts the element back by half of its own width and height, perfectly centering it. Set the width of the cane div to 500px, height also 500px and set the background color yellow. Now open the browser, you'll see a blue background covering the entire viewport. In the center of this blue background, there's a yellow box positioned perfectly in the middle. Set the transition duration to 0.7 seconds, so any changes to the cane div will smoothly animate over this time, giving it a polished look. Now, add styles for the pack div element. Set its position to absolute to position it within its parent. For the background, use the background property with a URL value. Inside the URL, provide the location of the can image that we want to display. Next, set background size to auto 100% to ensure the background image scales to fit the height while maintaining its aspect ratio. Set the width to 200px and define the aspect ratio as 2 fourths to control the width to height ratio of the div. Open the browser, you'll see the can image displayed inside the yellow box. Also, add left, 50%, transform, translate x, minus 50%, to the pack div. This positions the pack div horizontally at the center of its parent and adjusts its position by shifting it left by 50% of its own width, ensuring it stays centered. Now comment the width value from cane div element. Open the browser, you'll see only the can image visible. The width of the cane div now matches the width of the pack div, making the can image fit perfectly within the yellow box. Remove the width value. Now, add the Coca-Cola image to the pack div by using the previously defined CSS variable. Set the background property to var, bg, zero. This applies the background image defined in the bg variable, ensuring it is displayed correctly. Open the browser, you'll see the Coca-Cola image layered on top of the can image. Next, add a mask image to the pack div using the URL function. Set the URL to the location of the can image. Also, apply mask size, auto 100% to ensure the mask image scales to fit the height of the div while maintaining its aspect ratio. Open the browser, you'll see the Coca-Cola image cut to match the shape of the can. The mask applied ensures that the Coca-Cola image fits the can's shape perfectly. Now, apply background blend mode, multiply. This style blends the Coca-Cola image with the can image underneath, making the Coca-Cola image seamlessly integrated and aligned with the can's shape. This effect gives the appearance of the can as a 3D object. Add a transition duration of 0.7 seconds. This will create a smooth effect for any changes to the pack div, enhancing its visual dynamics and ensuring a polished appearance. Open the browser and inspect the pack div element. Select the URL, value with zero in the CSS properties. Use the up arrow key to adjust the value and observe how the position of the image changes. This will allow you to see how shifting the image affects its alignment within the div. Select a position value that you want to select a position value for the image that best fits the can's shape and appearance. Use the up and down arrow keys to adjust the URL, value until the image is positioned as desired. This ensures the Coca-Cola image aligns perfectly with the can. Now, create a CSS variable named left and set its value to the position you selected for the image. This variable will hold the position value, allowing you to easily adjust and apply it throughout your styles. Set the left value for the image position in the pack div by using var left instead of zero. This applies the position value stored in the left variable, allowing you to control the image positioning dynamically. Add a hover effect to the cane div using the dot cane hover selector. Set the left variable to minus 1000 px and apply a transform with translate minus 50%, translate y minus 60%. This will shift the dot cane div left by 1000 pixels and move it down by 60% when hovered, creating a dynamic visual effect. Open the browser and hover over the can. You'll see that the can rotates and moves up, creating beautiful a dynamic visual effect.
Next, add another can image by copying and pasting the previous pack div in your HTML. Change the URL value to point to the Pepsi image location instead of the Coca-Cola image. This will add a second can image with the new background. Open the browser, and you'll see only the Pepsi can image visible. This happens because the pack div elements are positioned absolutely, causing the Pepsi image to overlay and cover the Coca-Cola image. The Pepsi can image appears on top due to the stacking order of the elements. To hide the Pepsi image, select the second pack div using the .cane.pack nth child 2 selector. Set its opacity to 0. This will make the Pepsi image invisible, ensuring that only the Coca-Cola image is visible on the screen. Open the browser, and you'll see only the Coca-Cola can image. The Pepsi image is hidden because its opacity is set to 0. Add a hover effect to the .cane div using the .cane hover selector. Set the opacity of the second pack div using dot pack nth child 2 to 1 on hover. This will make the Pepsi image visible when you hover over the dot cane div. Open the browser and hover over the Coca Cola can. Initially, it will rotate and move up. Then, as the hover effect progresses, the image will change to the Pepsi can, which becomes visible in place of the Coca Cola image. The result is a stunning and beautiful rotating can animation. Also, add a Z index to the cane div element. This will ensure that the dot cane div appears above other elements on the page, preventing any overlap issues and maintaining the proper stacking order for the animation. Open the website using Live Server and hover over the Coca-Cola can. Initially, it will rotate and move up. Then, as the hover effect progresses, the image will change to the Pepsi can, which becomes visible in place of the Coca-Cola image. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest content. Your support helps us create more exciting and valuable videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode of DevWave Diaries.